Estamos aquí intentando cocinar, pero está. Imagine this. You are traveling the world with your spouse, documenting your adventures for hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram. But one night in a remote area of India's Jharkhand district, your peaceful campsite is infiltrated by a group of seemingly harmless men. What started as a routine stop on your journey turns into a nightmare as these men surround you and your wife, overpowering you and subjecting her to a horrifying ordeal of sexual assaults. This was the harrowing experience faced by Vincente, a 63-year-old, and his wife Fernando, 28 years of age, a Spanish couple who had been exploring the globe on their motorbikes, sharing their escapades with their devoted online following. Now, the incident not only left them terrified but deeply traumatized. As they journeyed towards Nepal from India, they made a stop for the night in Dumka district, unaware of the danger lurking nearby. The peacefulness of their campsite was shattered when they were approached by a group of men who initially appeared harmless. However, their intentions quickly turned sinister as they forcefully subdued Vincente, leaving him unable to defend his wife as she became the target of their depraved actions. In an instant, the couple's idyllic adventure turned into a nightmare. On Sunday, three men accused of a crime were brought into a court with bags over their heads, escorted by police officers who helped ropes around their waists. Authorities indicate that four other men are being sought in connection with the incident. In a video filmed outside a hospital in India, the 63-year-old husband disclosed the injuries he and Fernanda sustained, with Fernanda displaying visible bruises on her face. She alleges they were not only robbed but also subjected to attempted rape. Now, the influencers shared a video recounting their harrowing ordeal after spending the night camping on their journey towards the Nepal border. Something has happened to us that we would not wish on anyone. Seven men have raped me. They have beaten us and robbed us. Although not many things because what they wanted was to rape me. Read the caption of one video featuring Fernanda's bruised visage. My face looks like this, but it's not what hurts me the most, she said in one post. Thank God we are alive. They beat us up, Vincent added. They put a to my neck and told me they were going to kill me. Fernanda was raped. Seven of them. Seven men, Vincent said in the video. Now, authorities suspect that the individuals involved in the crime are aged between 20 and 30 years and have been accused of assaulting Fernanda in a coordinated manner. We have formed a team to hunt the remaining suspects, said Pitamber Singh, a senior local police officer. We have to ensure strict punishment, he added. Now, the bloggers present in a court on Monday were awarded a 9,500 pounds equivalent to 1.7 million Kenyan shillings as compensation by Indian authorities and are currently housed in a secure accommodation. We have provided them with 1 million rupees as compensation. A thorough investigation is underway and we are committed to expediting the trial process to ensure convictions, remarked Anjad Nayulu Dode, Deputy Commissioner of Domko. 
Are the couple intends to return to Spain temporarily before resuming their travels at a later date. We leave our bikes in Nepal and take some time to rest and be with our family. Once Fernanda has fully recovered, we will continue our journey through Asia, aiming to conclude our travels in New Zealand, the couple said. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.